You got like 20 minutes. Hey, don't fast forward. Hold on a minute. Uh, just give me just like a minute or two. So I have gotten a lot of hate over the years about casting these ant nests and I've tried to explain just how bad these things are and how dangerous they can be. But y'all don't seem to want to understand so we are now two or three months in the spring and they've started coming up so i've tried the poisons i've tried the mothballs i've tried vinegar i tried peeing on them like people said and just to give you an idea i'm not even gonna move from this spot but there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven there's three more on the other side of that but we won't count those because i can't see them 12 13 okay and if the children get out here playing tag and they trip and fall on one of these things, we've got a big problem. This was an oak tree. And they got into this oak tree and they killed it within about a month and a half. And it fell on the fence. Now that is a big pine tree. And it was about 60, 70 foot tall. They got into that pine tree and it fell, luckily, that direction. Had it fell that way, my daughter's bedroom sits right there. So that is why... I do it. It's the only thing I can get to work. I tried it your way. It didn't work. If you're okay with the dangers that they cause, I don't know what to tell you. Just watch another channel, I guess. I don't know. But right now, we're going to burn these little red bastards. So we're off. Had a little bit of trouble to start out with. I thought that it was out of gas. I went and replaced the tank, even though the tank seemed to be heavy enough. Plugged the new tank up. Still wasn't getting nothing. And believe it or not, the orifice tube was clogged up with a little piece of rust inside that thing and I just don't know how that happened but it happened and uh, we're going now so I'm sitting on about three about three psi and uh, getting ready to open up a hole here and I think I'm gonna start right here and see what happens there and then I'll probably open one up there because I know it's gonna take way more than just one four in wall stuff. Can it out anymore? I don't think so. Yeah, it is. Gonna be it. Well, here we are the next day about four o'clock in the afternoon. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. And uh, I gotta say, you have to admire the resilience of this species of ants because even though that I've just dumped ungodly amount of uh, molten aluminum down there, uh, they're trying to survive. So they have a new nest that they're trying to do. But it's about to all get dug up, so um, it'll all get destroyed anyhow. So here we go. All right, so uh, I think I found a perimeter, and as is always the case with uh, these ant nests, is that they uh, there's still hundreds of thousands of them 
uh, roaming around. So periodically I got to take care of that problem so that I can get down in here and actually keep digging. I think this is going to be a pretty neat piece. What do you think? Yeah? No? Maybe? Yeah. Straight up. We got all of it. There's no aluminum down there. Okay, so the nest actually kept going down even further, as you can see, all these holes here. Now, the reason the aluminum didn't make it down that far is this clay holds moisture pretty good. Because it held moisture, it cooled off before it could get down any further. So uh, there's not really anything you can do to prevent that. Don't know how much further down it went, but I would imagine I'm just going to guess another foot. So. Yes, it will. Let's do it. Ran out of space on the camera. I apologize about that. Just had to move it and I just realized it so well. Uh... Okay, well, it's still got a good bit to uh, clean up. There's a lot of stuff, but most, the majority of the big stuff is out of there, the big heavy clay and stuff like that. The rest of it's just fried organics, pretty much. Um, as these dry out and shrink up, they'll come out. So we're going to put a put a scale, put it on a scale, but we're going to have to flip it over to do it. Because if we move it too much like this, there's a couple places where it's going to break. See this one here? Yeah, and the one back there. Um, yeah, so she's gonna get the scale now. We're gonna sit in the back of the truck, flip it over, and then we'll measure it. All right, as it turns out, uh, the camera decided not to view that. Now I've done going through hours of editing. This is two days. I need to get this video just put out. Um, this is the largest piece I've ever done. This is twice as big as I've ever poured one. So this was a multiple pour. And this is only, what would you say, sweetheart, about 70% uh, of the nest. It still went down further. And there was a lot of areas in here, these empty spaces, where it just didn't ca uh, cast because it just collapsed. But uh, absolutely gorgeous piece. And we did put it on the scale. Scale's right here. Um, kind of broke it, but... Uh, 58 pounds now it's still got a few organics that i need to get out of it so go ahead and knock off another three pounds because it's really not that much so we're just going to say 55 pounds altogether. i don't know if that's what i said it was 58 on the scale minus three 55 so yeah it's a beautiful piece i think i'm gonna call the museum of uh natural history and all that and see if they would want it once they get it cleaned up and all that and get it mounted on something it's a absolute gorgeous piece and um yeah Oh, yeah, they are. Uh, show you this. So, take measure. You grab that end. I'm trying to do it with a camera in my hand. You got it over there? Mm -hmm. Okay. We are at 30 inches this way. And... Right at 30 inches that way. So, almost 30 inches square. But, gorgeous piece. Gorgeous piece. Y'all be well, be safe. If you want to see more of it, just leave a message, uh, a comment down in the um, comment block, and I'll do a quick um, up close and personal if you really want to see uh, the full thing in the daylight. I've just gone through hours of editing, and I'm tired. It's been two days working on this thing, so, yeah, beautiful piece. Y'all be well, be safe, love, peace, chicken, grease, catch you on the flip side.